close thousands of teachers and other. David Wallace, The Republic, as Central.com Lori Roberts, $400 million and a vote in the fall on vouchers. It was a good week for public schools in Arizona. It was a good week for public schools in Arizona. Crazy good. First came a $400 million investment in public education, pulling our schools part of the way out of the $1 billion hole in which they have long resided, courtesy of Arizona's Republican-led government. Then on Thursday, despite the best efforts of GOP leaders, the legislature was unable to block Proposition 305 voters' opportunity to tell our leaders just what we think of their universal voucher program. A good week, more like a sensational week, one which may well serve as a turning point in Arizona politics. Lots of arm twisting behind closed doors The story of the The story of the attempt to scuttle Prop 305 took place where most things occur at the Capitol, outside the public's view. Threats and arm twisting, after all, are best done in the shadows. Republican leaders were desperate to repeal the universal voucher program they enacted last year. This, after a grassroots group of citizens, to the surprise of all the political pros, launched a successful referendum drive to freeze the program and give voters the final say in November. In November, when our leaders are up for re-election, one would think if voters supported the further siphoning of the public treasury for private schools, our leaders would embrace a public vote. If public support is there, having Prop 305 on the ballot should help them in their re-election efforts. One would think if scuttling that vote wasn't a bit of skullduggery, they would have introduced their appeal as a bill early in the legislative session and allowed public hearings on whether to do an end run around our constitutional right to decide this issue. Instead, they waited until the waning hours of the session and started twisting arms behind closed doors. Just before 1 p.m. Thursday, Save Our Schools Arizona put out the word that representatives of Gov. Doug Dussey and legislative leaders were working quietly to get the votes for a repeal, honoring those who got it to the ballot they didn't get far. Republican sends. Kate Brophy McGee of Phoenix and Bob Worsley of Mesa refused to go along with the repeal, leaving Republicans unable to repeal their law, it's honoring the people who got it to the ballot. Brophy McGee told Capital Media Services Howard Fisher, honoring the constitutional process that allows voters, you and me, to have the final say. Now, one of two things will happen so now our leaders face a lose-lose situation. What two things will happen, 1. Probe. 305 passes but it'll be locked, as is, in cement. The Coke Network, and thus Dussie, will do whatever it takes to save their expanded voucher program. The Coke see Arizona as ground zero in their move to reshape education in America. And Dussie sees the Cokes as ground zero in his bid for higher office. As he explained his support of vouchers to Coke donors in January, I didn't run for governor to play small ball. I think this is an important idea, look for them to spend boatloads of dark money to get Prop 305 passed. But if voters do ratify the expansion, it'll be capped for all time at 30,000 students, given the Voter Protection Act. The cap on empowerment scholarship accounts was added last year in order to get enough votes to pass the bill. But it was always intended to be a temporary thing. If voters ratify Prop 305, it would take a three-fourths vote of the legislature to lift the cap. That'll never happen. Point two, probe. 305 goes down. Frustrated voters stream to the polls to put a stake in the heart of this idea that an expanded voucher law really is a matter of school choice for all. This sort of voters who know that vouchers cover nowhere near the cost of private school tuition. The sort of voters who are fed up after a decade of watching public schools, the ones that most Arizona children attend, suffer while our leaders cut taxes and expand tuition tax credit and voucher programs to boost private schools. The sort of voters who often don't bother to vote. But this year, reach Roberts at laurie.roberts at arizonarepublic.com. More from Roberts, read or share this story, https colon slash slash azc dot cc slash tour mid -ivan.